What is up AI explorers and welcome back. You saw that thumbnail, you saw the title and yes, today we're diving headfirst into something potentially game changing in the AI image world. Forget everything you thought you knew because there's a new kid on the block called Hydream and the whispers are saying it might just give models like Flux a serious run for their money, especially for certain types of images. And the best part, it can work even if you're not rocking a beastly GPU. So buckle up, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get High Dream running in Comfy UI step by step. We'll cover the main setup, talk about its capabilities, and I'll show you a special trick for running it even on lower VRAM cards, like eight gigabytes. Is it truly better than Flux? We're gonna find out together. All right, enough hype, let's cook. First things first, let's get Comfy UI up and running. Head over to your Comfy UI folder and double click that run NVIDIA GPU.bat file. Or whichever one you normally use, let the magic happen, wait for that command prompt to do its thing, and boom, your Comfy UI interface should pop up in your browser. Easy peasy. Ah, now I've made this super simple for you. You just need to download the workflow file. Link is right down there in the description. You know the drill. Once you've got it, just drag that workflow file directly onto your Comfy UI canvas and bam. Damn, all the nodes should load up nice and organized. Okay, crucial step alert. This workflow won't work without the right models. You'll need to grab a few things if you haven't already. Again, all the links you need are pinned in the description below. First, the main event. Download the High Dream Full FP8 model file. This one is the UNet, the core image generator. Once downloaded, you need to place this bad boy inside your comfy UI slash models slash UNet folder. Make sure it's in the UNet folder. Next, you'll likely need some specific text encoders. Grab those from the links too. These files need to go into your comfy UI slash models slash text encoders folder. Get them in the right place, folks. Uh, now for the VAE, the thing that helps make the images look crisp. If you've already been playing around with the Flux model, chances are you already have the correct VAE file it uses. This workflow is set up to use that same one. Saves you a download. If you don't have it, no sweat. Link for that specific VAE is also in the description. Just download it and place it in your comfy UI slash models slash VAE folder like usual. All right, models are in place, workflow is loaded, let's dial in the settings based on the samples. For this run, we're going with a shift value of 3. The sampler we'll use is UniPC, and let's crank the steps up to 50 for decent quality. You can obviously tweak these later, but this is a good starting point. I, now for the fun part. Get your creative prompt ready, I'll just paste one in here. Something standard for now. Okay, looking good, hit that Q prompt button and let High Dream do its thing. Now this part will take a little time depending on your rig, I'm running this on my NVIDIA RTX 4070. Specs for my full setup are, you guessed it, down in the description if you're curious. If you have a slower card, it might take longer, faster card, quicker results. Grab a coffee, check your phone, let the AI bake. Remember we are using the FP8 version here which is optimized for speed and lower VRAM usage so it's pretty zippy but might slightly trade off peak quality compared to a full FP16 model. And and here we go, check that out. Pretty nice results straight out of the box. Now I wanna be upfront, since we're using the FP8 version, don't expect the absolute maximum theoretical quality iDream might be capable of with more resources. FP8 is fantastic for performance, but there can be tiny detail compromises. Still, I'll let you be the judge. What do you think of this first output? Uh, and it's not just a one trick pony. Look at some of these other samples I generated earlier while testing. You can get some really interesting styles and compositions out of this model. And yet, yeah, let's address the elephant in the room. From my testing, High Dream seems quite capable. Me of generating NSFW content potentially even more readily or with better coherence than Flux in some scenarios. So uh, use that information responsibly, folks. But wait, there's more. What if you're sitting there with an 8 gigabyte VRAM card or maybe even less thinking this is cool, but can I run it? Well, I don't, yes, you can. This is where the GGUF quantized versions come in clutch. GGUF is a format that allows models to run more efficiently, especially on hardware with less memory. Link to the High Dream GGUF models is, uh, say it with me, in the description. On that download page, you'll see different quantization levels, like Q2, Q4, Q5, etc. Lower numbers mean smaller files and less VRAM usage, but also potentially lower quality. Higher numbers are closer to the original, but need more VRAM. Pick the one that best fits your VRAM capacity. If you're on 8GB, maybe start with Q4 or Q5. If you're really struggling, try Q2, download your chosen GGUF file. Now this one goes into a different folder. Place the downloaded .ggUF 
PDF file inside your comfy UI slash models slash diffusion models folder. That's diffusion models. Okay, one extra step for GGUF. Comfy UI needs a special node to load these files. You'll need to install a custom node. I recommend using the Comfy UI manager. Just search for a UET GGUF loader or similar. Get that installed. Crucially, after installing any custom node, you need to restart ComfyUI completely. Close the command prompt window, then run your .bat file again. Once it's back up, load the Hydream workflow again, or if it's still there, find the original load unit model node, select it, and hit delete. Now right click add node, go to loaders, and find your newly installed unit loader open beta node, or whatever it's called. Plop that onto the canvas and connect it where the old loader was. Inside this new GGUF loader node, you'll see a drop down menu, click it, and select the hydream.ggUF file you downloaded and placed in the diffusion.models folder. Everything else can stay the same for now. And that's it, you're all set up to run the memory efficient GGUF version. Hit Q prompt and see how it performs on your lower VRAM setup. All right, explorers, that's your crash course on High Dream and Comfy UI, covering both the speedy FP8 version and the VRAM friendly GGUF option. We saw how to set it up, checked out some results, and even touched on its potent capabilities. So the big question remains, what do you think? Is High Dream a true flux competitor? Is it better, worse, especially interested to hear from those of you trying the GGUF version on lower spec machines. Let me know your thoughts, your results, your comparisons down in the comments below. I read everything. If this video helped you out or blew your mind even a little bit, do me a solid and smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next AI breakthrough we explore together. All the links, models, nodes, specs, everything is in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, stay curious, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.